It has come to the end of the season for my cucumbers, and as I was harvesting the last of them, I decided I wanted to make some fermented pickles and show you how. So first you're going to wash and cut up your cucumbers, and it doesn't matter how many cucumbers you want to make because this recipe is very flexible. It's just cucumbers, garlic, and brine. So I'm slicing up my cucumbers to my desired size first. I enjoy pickle spears, so that's the shape I'm making. For each jar of pickles that I'm making, I'm going to add one clove of sliced garlic. Now it's time to make the brine. For each batch of brine, I'm adding one tablespoon of dried dill, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one tablespoon of whole black peppercorns, one tablespoon of salt, and four tablespoons of whey, homemade whey, or you could use another extra tablespoon of salt if you don't have whey. My whey comes from all the yogurt that I make. You'll also add one cup of water. So as you can see, it doesn't make a lot of brine, so you'll be making multiple batches of this depending on how many cucumbers you have. So it's kind of hard to know how much you'll need but the recipe is so easy, you can just make more as you need it. So I just added my clove of garlic and now I'm adding my cucumbers to the jar. The amount of cucumbers I had amounted to the need for two jars. So I just kept adding brine until it went to about an inch below the top of the jar. You want a little bit of space from the lid because it might rise up a little bit as it is a fermentation. So it might have some bubbles after a few days. I ended up making about four or five batches of brine. If you know you'll have multiple jars worth of cucumbers, then go ahead and just multiply the recipe and make your brine ahead of time and then start adding it as you need it to the jars. So I'm making sure my cucumbers are completely submerged in the brine. I'm kind of mixing up my ingredients in there, but I'm also making sure that the liquid is not too high. You're going to set those aside and let them ferment for three days. Make sure to seal the lids tightly. After three days of fermenting, you're going to put them in the refrigerator overnight and let them chill before enjoying. So why eat fermented pickles over just regular vinegar canned pickles? Well, the fermentation process adds probiotics, which can not only add in the bioavailability of the nutrients in certain fruits and vegetables, but it also gives us probiotics, which are healthy for the gut. A little goes a long way. Don't overeat these fermented foods because they're very powerful, but also very beneficial in small amounts. Today I'm enjoying my fermented pickles with grass-fed cheddar cheese, organic black grapes, as a perfect sweet and sour snack. 
I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow and inspiring so you can make fermented pickles at home too.